But these items right here, one thing I love about uh, Poshmark is you've got that standard shipping of $7.67. So if it's five pounds or less, that's what it's going to ship for. So board games, heavier things that are just kind of awkward that are going to cost me $10 to $15 to ship on eBay. I love selling those items on Poshmark. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, my name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. And on this channel, I talk about Bolo items, items to be on the lookout for, items you can hopefully buy low and sell high. This is a Poshmark What Sold video, and I am super behind on posting my What Solds for Poshmark, so I do apologize. But I'm working on three of them tonight, so those will be coming in the future, so stay tuned. Um, if you are new here, uh, thank you for being here. If you've been here a while, I appreciate you all so much. Thank you so much. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. But I've got um, videos on Mercari and eBay also. So we're going to dig right in to some of my sold items. And the first item I sold on Poshmark, um, I sell hard goods on Poshmark. And I think that's kind of what makes me a little bit different from a lot of the resellers that you see doing content. Most of them focus on clothing and I sell hard goods over here. So the first item I sold is this Victoria's Secret pink collector dog plush vinyl. And he is a little bit bigger. He's not one of the real small ones. He's almost 12 inches if you include his tail. Um, I got him, uh, I think it was at a garage sale and a whole bulk lot of these. I just bought them all for one price. So I probably got about a buck in this. Sold it for $13. And let me see here if I took some notes. I think I did. Yes. So um, I'm going to tell you, for those of you that sell on Posh, and those of you that don't know, Poshmark takes 20%. And when you send offers out, you have to send discounted shipping. So I'm going to tell you what my payout was from Poshmark. Also, just to give you guys an idea of fees and that shipping discount, where you're kind of at. So $13 on this. <coughs> Excuse me. My payout was $10.05. The next item here is this lot of six necklaces, and I just kind of displayed them with a uh, an app that I have that puts them in these boxes. And I got this out of my bulk buy jewelry buy. I bought 344 pounds of jewelry, so um, just pulled out some cute pieces and bundled them. Sold these for $17, and I got my payout $11.88. The next item are these Talbot's clip-on earrings, and these also came from that bulk buy, and I sold these for $15, and my payout was $12. So all of these items are cross-posted on eBay and Mercari, and these items sold faster on Poshmark. I do use List Perfectly to cross-post my items. If you're interested in a cross-posting service, you can check out how that works. I have a video down in the description, or if you've just been thinking about it, and you want to try it, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that will get you 30% off your first month. Highly recommend it. It just saves so much time. All right. The next item I sold is this wire wrapped bangle bracelet. I picked up a bunch of these at a, I think it was an estate sale, if I remember correctly. I did a bulk buy, but there were quite a few of these in there. For some reason, this one hung around. The other one sold pretty quickly. You can tell I've been taking pictures of them on my wrist. I want to say I had seven or eight of them. And I ended up selling this for $21 and I got $15.08 is what it says. This is a Drake's Handmade for Barney's Men's Tie. And I, I, I pick up ties, usually if they're vintage, like at garage sales and stuff like that. This was a good one. It sold for $58 and my payout was $46.40 for this. And I probably had a dollar or less in it. 
And I'm showing you this one. It is a clothing item, but um, I got it at a garage sale and everything at this garage sale was free. And I have a video on it. I got there and they were like closing shop and they're like, take whatever you want. And I took this jacket because I thought it was kind of cute. It's a vintage Harvey Bernard, Bernard collection size 14. And I sold this for $31. My payout was $23.08. The next item came out of my bulk buy jewelry buy, and these are seed bead dangle drop earrings, and they're just cute little pierced earrings. If you guys are not using this little tool, it's called a caliper. I think I got this on eBay for like 10 bucks, super cheap, great for things that are small to measure them to show your buyer's size. Um, I ended up selling these earrings for $8, so major bread and butter. And my payout was $5.05, but I probably had pennies in these. This is a vintage Louisville MFG mesh snapback hat. It is a trucker hat. And if you look right here on the inside of the band, this Louisville MFG, I have done really well with that on the um, snapback part of it. So definitely something to be on the lookout for. I do have a video, a category video on snapback hats. If you want to learn more about which ones go for big money and why, um, I break it all down in that video. This one sold for 30 and my payout was $24. Vintage hair barrettes. I also have a video on vintage hair barrettes. They can be a big money bolo, but they are also a fantastic bread and butter. Got these at a garage sale, probably had 50 cents or less in them. Sold this for $17. And um, looks like I sent an offer out on that. So I got $11.88, but just really cool vintage little hair thing there. Vintage clip-on earrings. I do pick these up usually in bulk, different places. These happen to come from a garage sale. I thought they were pretty cute. My picture's not that great. I think I probably should have whited out the background with photo room. Um, if you use list perfectly, you now get photo room as a part of that. Um, they give you some for um, each plan, but the pro plan, the highest plan, you get a ton. So um, definitely makes your listings pop more, I think. And I sold these for $9 and my payout was $6.05 on those. These are Bratz baby dolls. They're little baby Bratz. I got these at a thrift store for three bucks. Uh, sold them for $46 and my payout was $36.80 on those. So a nice return. Um, not familiar with these, never sold them before, never picked them up before, but did Google lens and that's what they are. These came from a thrift store and they put stuff outside in boxes, stuff that they've already had in the store that did not sell or things that they don't think will sell. And they put them outside for people to take free. Um, typically when I do that, when I pay, I give them extra money because my intent is not to keep for personal use, but to sell the item. So I throw them some money when I check out, even though it was in the free box. Um, I sold these for $35 and my payout was $26.28. They are vintage Honda travel plastic coffee mug cups. So these are vintage advertising. The next item. Oh my goodness. So. This one took a little while to sell. I went to a garage sale and they had, I'm telling you, a table full of this stuff. Just, I should have bought the whole table. If I would have known what I know now, I would have bought the whole table. I picked out, I cherry picked it. I picked the ones that were like in brand new condition, new old stock. There were a bunch that were stained and tattered and I should have bought them all because now I know that even though they're stained and tattered, they will still sell. Uh, maybe not for as much, but anyway. So this here and these pants, I paid a dollar each for those at this sale. And I ended up getting a bundle offer for, I um, can't remember what the bundle was, but my payout ended up being $80.80. So sold them for over 100 because Posh takes 20%. So very cool sale. And I did end up going back after I listed the items 
and asking them to take me to their storage unit. Um, the, the man that lived at the home was not there. I left my number and he never called. Womp womp. So still waiting on that call. That was like two years ago. Okay. Maybe it was last year. I can't remember. All right. The next item are these rubber mounted wood stamps. Okay. So I tell you guys that I put everything on all three platforms. Um, when, when it's on Poshmark and Mercari, you know, it's on eBay also, because I start on eBay. I do have items on eBay that I have not yet cross posted to the other platforms just because I haven't had time. So I just do it here and there when I can. Uh, it definitely pays off to cross post though. But these items right here, one thing I love about uh, Poshmark is you've got that standard shipping of $7.67. So if it's five pounds or less, that's what it's going to ship for. So board games, heavier things that are just kind of awkward that are going to cost me $10 to $15 to ship on eBay. I love selling those items on Poshmark. This is an item that I didn't even bother putting on eBay. I just put it on Poshmark because I knew that that shipping was going to be good. So that is a little tip. Um, I ended up selling these for 17. I got these in a thrift store mystery box. So my cost of goods is probably a buck or so. And uh, payout was $11.88 on that. This stamp here, I did pay up a little bit for, but I just had a good feeling about it. I got it at a thrift store for $1.50. It's a nativity scene stamp. Let us adore him. And it's, um, the nativity scene is what sold me. I love picking up nativity sets. I do really well with them. This is a pre-owned stamp, you guys. And it still sold for $25. And my payout was 20 bucks on that. The next item is this dollhouse table. Now I'm going to show you some dollhouse furniture. Dollhouse furniture can be a really big money bolo. Some of it goes for crazy money. This is a great example of a good one. I got this at an estate sale. I did pay up for this. Uh, there was a whole table of dollhouse stuff. It was the last day. This particular estate sale will do auctions after the sale for things that don't sell. So she worked with me a little bit, but not as much as I had hoped. But I ended up buying the remainder of the items. I ended up getting this for $10, sold it for $50, and my payout was $38.28. Now, I had a bundle of four other, five, five dollhouse items that somebody else bought. And I'm going to show you those items right now. And these all came from the same place, I do believe. So the dollhouse table, the bedroom suit, this cupboard, piano, and this little hutch thing, desk. Okay, actually, I'm not sure. I think some of these came from that estate sale and some of these came from an estate garage sale. So it was a mixture. But I ended up selling all of these five items for $152 and my payout was $109.44 for that. The next item, I just love these. They are dangle. I mean, I wouldn't wear them, love them, but they just, they're fun. Dangled cowboy earrings pierced. These came out of my bulk buy and I sold these for $21. My payout on those was $16.80. All right, you guys, those were my Poshmark uh, sales, 23 of them. And I've got two other videos I'm going to be working on tonight. So stay tuned for those. Let me know in the comments, what do you sell on Poshmark? What is your favorite platform to sell on? Are, um, are you cross posting? Do you feel like you have better sales because you are cross posting? To me, I feel like more eyes on your items, different eyes, items that are saturated on eBay sell better on those other two platforms. Just so many good reasons to cross post. And um, I need to get cross posting. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Check out the videos up here. There's a subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, I'd love for you to subscribe. And thanks for watching.